Gran Piemonte, 152 kilometres of testing terrain. A flat start and then a series of climbs towards the end prized a 14-rider group clear, including some powerful riders. Rui Costa, Timon Aronsman amongst them. It would take a strong ride from the team of the favourites, Wout van Aert and Jumbo Visma, to control this group. And for a while, the gap to the 14 riders was around about 2 minutes and 30 seconds until Jaco Alula, despite the presence of Michael Matthews in the front, hit the front of the peloton and ripped the race to bits. That changed the dynamics, and when they hit the penultimate climb of the day at the front of the race, four riders went clear, including Davide Formolo, Harald Tejada, Rui Costa among them, as well as Jonathan Caicedo. The pace too high for the favourite Wout van Aert, who dropped away and was never seen again towards the front of the race. And then a big chase group got themselves organised, including some fast finishing men like Alex Aranburu of Movistar. Movistar, of course, the winners of Gran Piemonte the previous year with Ivan Garcia Cortina. A big chase group then, trying to get across a 23 second gap to the four riders at the front and eventually hunting them down inside 20 kilometres to go. Formolo looking across, Rui Costa, Tejada and Caicedo all realising that that group had been shut down. Michael Matthews still just about hanging on to this group on the final climb of the day before the run into the finish line. And that was the moment that the Swiss rider from UAE Team Emirates, Mark Hirschi, chose to attack. Sudal Quicksteps, Andrea Baggioli going with him. Domenico Pozzovivo of Israel Premier Tech unable to hold the wheel of the young Italian. Baggioli getting across to Hirschi. Those two riders then starting to work well and holding on to a slender advantage. Eventually, though, they would be joined by two counter-attackers. Alex Aranburu from Movistar, joined by Guillaume Martin of Cofidis, the French climber, climbing brilliantly. Those four riders then got together, had a five or six second lead and started to work together as they approached 10 kilometres to go and they were never seen again. Alex Aranburu it was who took the final corner towards the line in the first position. Baggioli sweeping past him and Baggioli just about out sprinting Mark Hirschi to claim Gran Piemonte. A brilliant ride from the Italian. On this more bump at uh, 20k to go, we... We, we went in, uh, in four and uh, yes, we pulled uh, full gas because uh, the bunch was uh, uh, always uh, behind 10, uh, fif uh, 15 seconds uh, uh, maximum. So we arrived at the sprint and uh, yes, I, I won. The 24-year-old Italian's biggest win of his career as he moves next year to Little Trek. The winner then from Mark Hirschi in second place and Alex Allen Buru in third.